Hello, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Antonio Grafia, and I would like to talk to you about Cassis camera. That is a, a color and stereo surface image system that would go to Mars next year. It's, being currently, it's currently being built at the Physics Institute for Space Research in Bern. Okay, uh, as we all know, Horizons on board the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, uh, currently in orbit around Mars. It has observed the Mars surface in unprecedented detail. See if it wants to work. No, I don't know. to stop or not. Right. Otherwise, the video is in the Dropbox folder. Yes. Here, right? So it was a digital terrain model uh, generated uh, from, uh, from, from high-rise observations. And uh, high-rise has an important drawback, and it is that it only takes one image per orbit, and the next image is taken only during the next fly over the target. Um, then it is a software that merges these two images in a stereo. Okay, consequently, any change in surface elimination and uh, structure or weather conditions will produce uh, errors or artifacts that will generate, uh, that will be very annoying, and this will be uh, very, very bad for, for the reconstruction. Being told that, being told that uh, the next generation of Mars surface emission is that of Cassis. CASIS is a stereo camera that aims to gather data in order to build accurate digital terrain models of the Martian surface. Uh, it will allow to accomplish uh, scientific objectives as the identification of potential sources, uh, sources of trust gases, uh, volatiles, and uh, dynamic surface processes, for example, like sublimation, uh, volcanism, or erosional processes. It will be launched aboard the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter in 2016. And here we can see them to real scale, as well as the location of the, of the instrument into the, final, uh, into the spacecraft. Um, the second part of, of the mission is a rover that will be probably launched uh, two years later in 2018. So the uh, camera stereo, the camera make, um, sorry, yes. The camera rotation mechanism is presented here. Uh, to take the first image, uh, the instrument will rotate 10 degrees ahead of the spacecraft, and then it will start uh, capturing the first image. And then for the second image, once the spacecraft, when, when the spacecraft uh, passed over the, the target, it will, start, uh, it will rotate 180 degrees back and start capturing the second image. And then uh, this process is uh, the one that allows the story construction. Uh, CASIS will be capable of uh, acquiring at least one image per orbit. Okay, in relation to CASIS, key advantages, it has a better special resolution than CTX, uh, exactly five meters per pixel. Uh, this will allow uh, to obtain, this will, this will allow that the images will be more productive and uh, efficient at stereo imaging. Uh, it will observe also uh, larger areas than, than Harais does. And we will be able to make multiple observation of surface uh, target at, at different times um, in a Martian day. And images are built up in the four different colors, in red, blue and green, panchromatic and uh, infrared. And um, CASIS also has the potential to unlock time, on time of day uh, dependent surface processes and the uh, dynamic of volatiles. Finally, amongst uh, CASIS uh, science objectives, uh, uh, we found dynamic phenomena on, on Martian surface, uh, volatiles on early Mars, uh, aelian and 
fluvian structures and as well as potential uh, future landing sites. This will allow to investigate uh, four billion years history and evolution of Mars uh, to understand the evolution of uh, planetary surfaces and to study and the role and interaction on volatiles on early Mars. And that's all.